Genesis reveals how God views humans, good, loved, and created to dwell with him. When looking at the creation story, two things really stick out. First, the universe had a beginning, and in fact, it was before day one of creation. And if the universe had a beginning, that must mean that there was a God that created it. So science and the space-time of reference actually supports the argument of the relevance of God and the Bible. Now, the creation story isn't like some science formula of how the world was created. It actually is a poem, which leads me to the second thing, which reveals that humans are created for Sabbath. What I find to be very interesting is that when Genesis 1 was first read, it's most likely that it was the Israelites reading this story at Mount Sinai 430 years after being enslaved in Egypt. Why is this important? Because God is revealing to them their identity. Now remember, previously the Israelites found their identity and what they achieved and did. Because for 430 years as a slave, if the Israelites didn't produce X amount of bricks, then they would face severe consequences, including having family members ripped away from them. So when the Israelites first read Genesis 1, what God was trying to say to them is the same thing he's trying to say to you and that your worth is not caught up in what you do. But before you ever did anything, God viewed you as good and loved and he wants you to come to him and dwell with him. Overall, what's fantastic about Genesis is that God intends to never leave people no matter what mistakes or life events that have occurred.